That's right. It's two strength Lin Fei. This is a this is a bit of an interesting stance to use because honestly, a lot of the time I just run this normally anyway because it gives you five defense as opposed to four. And me, uh, I'm not really a four defense type of guy. Also, this is my very first game of the day. Also, this is the very first like thing I'm doing today. I'm this is a bit of a mix up. I know normally I record like late at night, but this time I'm recording in the morning. So kind of a kind of a crazy situation actually, but uh. We're gonna try it. Lin Fei, I feel like, is an interesting case study of a character, uh, especially for the dexterity stat, because she was a type of character that went from top tier, like, best character in the game, to not really played very much because of the change of one frame. Think about that. That's kind of crazy. A one frame difference made this character go from literal best players in the world are picking her, using her in tournaments, winning tournaments, getting top eights in tournaments, to her not really having a high pick rate at all. Uh, among wow, I just jumped over that down there. Among high level play, and I think that's a very interesting, uh, just interesting. I don't know thing to have in general for a character. You would think that one frame doesn't really make much of a difference, but when you're at that top level, it can make the world of difference. So, yeah, w what was that one frame? Well, basically, there was a there's a patch where Qatar recovery frames were affected by dexterity, and so uh, recovery frames on hit. And so you're able to land down air into uh, side light into down light. That three piece true combo entirely true, and that was uh, that was enough to push Lin Fei over the edge in a meta where guitars were already strong with side light dash impulses and everything like that. Uh, she just became top tier, and her signatures guitar side light into Ensig was uh, a, a string that was only escapable with dodge. And so if someone didn't have dodge, they would they would just get hit by that and die. It was also not the easiest thing to dodge. So. Yeah, she's, um, she's, she's, she's like not a bad character, she's interesting, she's had her, her top tier moments, she's had her, uh, lower played moments, which I guess is the current meta right now, given that heavy weapons are kind of the meta and lower strength, higher dex characters are not really, so, yeah, interesting character, but this time we're, we're, we're pushing, pushing the low strength to the to the limit going the lowest strength that we can in the game at the current moment at the current patch and, uh, seeing if I can ever land a kill <laughs> because at the moment I'm not I'm also running into side six I don't know this is my first game of the day so it's a bit messy but I'm sure by the by the second and the third it'll it'll be cleaned up I'm noticing this player is jumping a lot after after everything and I'm not punishing them for it but you know you gotta get the the morning reaction time out of your blood out of your veins uh, I'll see what I can do with this last stock. Cannon is definitely my worst weapon. I should probably play it a little more and, and learn it a bit more so I can play it on the channel more. But yeah, so that, that dare into sidelight, that used to be true. And I would have gotten one more hit from that. And a dodge punish setup. So it was a uh, it was quite the time. Let me tell you. It was quite the time. Playing against it was pr really... It was rough. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty rough. Because, uh... No matter where you would go, you're kind of in danger. You're on the ground, well, Sidelight had so much dash impulse that you're just in danger. You're in the air, well, or, or Lin Fei's in the air, well, you can't really try and contest her down air because then you're getting three hit true comboed. So it was kind of a scary position to be in, no matter where you were. Uh, and then Cannon was also in a pretty good place. So overall, she was just, she was kind of a menace. And yeah, kind of a case study for why Dexterity is a bit of a, an interesting stat. Also, I, I gotta get the kill here somehow, but maybe my two strength isn't helping me out much in this situation. I'm gonna try an end sig if I can. There we go. Alright, let's see what I can do in the second game here. Focus up all those things. Uh, yeah, on the topic of dexterity, I feel like dexterity is kind of a... I've talked about this in a couple of videos, but I feel like it's kind of a, a broken stat from the get-go. It's like... In an FPS, I guess it can make sense, like you increase your reload time, you, you know, whatever it is, increase your firing rate or something with a stat like dexterity, but in a fighting game, it's like, what do you do, right? And the way that it works right now is it decreases recovery time, so some people when they say, oh, you need high dex, they think it makes them attack faster. It actually doesn't make them attack faster, it doesn't affect how fast you attack at all. It, it makes zero difference. Uh, it affects recovery time though, which is the amount of time after you use a move that you're able to be free. You're you're out of the the animation. You're you're not locked in anymore. Um, whoops, I jumped into that. That's okay. Um, yeah, and sometimes 
I feel like dexterity is the stat that has the most placebo out of any stat in the game. Because sometimes there are situations... Oh, I shouldn't have done that, that uh, chase dodge. There's some situations where dexterity does not change anything. Like going from like 7 to 8 dex, people are like, oh, you need to run 8 dex on like this and this. But there are situations where that literally makes no difference. Like if you look at the actual stats, the actual status tax, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't change anything. And I find that interesting because, yeah, that's all placebo. Um, like the thing that it may change is how much time it takes for you to recover by like one frame after you ground pound on the stage, which like how often do you do that? Like almost never. So yeah, I find that interesting. Anyway, that's all to say that I feel like dexterity is kind of broken because it also affects on hit recovery time a lot of the time, which is like what the why you get three hit true combos with dexterity and stuff like that because it's affecting how much time it takes for you to recover after hitting a move and with combos like timings being so tight that uh that can make a true combo or it can make something not a true combo so it's just like this complicated thing right where it's such a delicate balance like one frame is the literal smallest unit of measurement that you can change to like anything to a move and yet one frame can be the difference between a character being picked by everyone or being picked by no one and that's crazy right one frame and that's because it's on hit changes um as opposed to only post hit changes so yeah it's interesting i feel like dex for it to be balanced like it needs to only be not on hit like only miss only whiffing uh being affected also i i could fast fall out of that but i haven't been doing that recently which oh i dashed into that one um yeah for it to only be on whiff because when it's on hit it's like it creates just a mess of situations it's also this player it seems like they're backing themselves into the corner a lot and then uh and then spot dodging and anticipating approaches with sidelight so i, I can tr just out prioritize that with guitars often um oh that's gonna kill? No, it's not. Okay, so this whole video I've been talking about dex, but it's a, it's supposed to be a strength video. You know, this is weak. This is not whatever I'm gonna name the dex video. It'll probably lag with the with the low dexterity one. But um, yeah, I don't know. Lin Fei is just an interesting character, I guess. An interesting case study of a character. So. Let's talk about strength. What does strength do? Strength affects how much damage you do. I also believe it affects the amount of force that your attacks have. I could be wrong there, actually. Maybe I should have done research, but you think I'm gonna do research? I, you think I can read? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Down- oh, I thought they were down sick. Oh, that would've been scarier. Um, so yeah. It, it affects how much damage you do, it affects your knockout power, your knockout potential, and so having high strength as opposed to high dex is kind of a it's pretty valuable because having knockout power versus maybe a stat that does absolutely nothing like you're getting value out of that you're getting like a, a something you're getting something tangible so having low strength oftentimes is not desirable also oftentimes the archetype of characters like lin fei for example a lot of her sigs don't have a lot of force and that's not because of her strength stat, but I think it's because of her character archetype, which is a low strength character. So she's the type of character that does struggle to kill, um, especially if you're running this stance. Um, her guitar sig's pretty good, her cannon sig's very good, but just sometimes it can be difficult. So I gotta get like a downlight nair and an sig here. They sidelight a lot, so I'm just gonna nsig, and they'll probably uh, it'll probably hit eventually at some point. Oh, I didn't even need to. I'm curious to see my damage values at the end of the match, right? Because the more damage that you do to an opponent to, to have to kill them, the lower your kill efficiency is, like, damage-wise. So, it's an interesting uh, thing to look at, how much damage you do per match. Typically, I don't see numbers above, like, 600, unless it's, like, a an extraneous... What's the word? Extraneous circumstance? I don't know if that's the right term, but... Yeah. So, hopefully... Hopefully, I'm not in the 600-700 range. Oh, I should have dashed there. Yeah, it seems like they back up and sidelight a lot, and I haven't really been paying much attention. I kind of sort of got to approach with my movement, and I should be fine. Make it difficult for them, have, have to have to guess and react to what I'm doing, and mix up my timings and everything. That should, uh, that should be good. That should be good. Oh, I almost got stared into the corner. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the piece on strength and everything. Also, I'm pretty sure Lin Fei, if I took a look at the list of legends, I'm pretty sure Lin Fei is my worst. I, <laughs> I'm not very good with her. All right, 604. That's not, that's not great, but it's not terrible, honestly. Not terrible. I suppose this Mordex is the, uh, the only one queuing in my, what's the word? 
like hidden MMR zone at this time of day. Oh, okay, I guess not. I find it interesting that this uh this series, I don't even know if you can call it series, I guess quote unquote series about uh different stat lines and whatever. Um, I kind of had a series a while ago called Stranger Danger where I used to do stuff like this, but it was kind of different. Nowadays, these videos are just like, whatever I want to do, I will do it. So with speed, I just kept saying, I am speed over and over again. With power, <laughs> that one is the, the least, the one that I can explain the least. Skill, I kind of just had some tunes going, some jams going, and I was just talk a talking. Uh, what, 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 was, what was after that? Defense, I just talked about... Sir Fort Ferdinand the second or something like that. I honestly I could not tell you and then slow I was statue mode now. I'm just talking about dexterity I don't know. I, I like these videos because I can just do whatever there that had to have been like the exact damage range for that to KO because I I was so sure it wasn't going to I was actually convinced you could have convinced me so Yeah I definitely probably put should put more time into the cannon, learn it so I can play it on the channel. A lot of people ask about like tips for cannon, I just, I have no idea. I have never put time into this weapon for no other reason than I just haven't. It's not that I don't enjoy it, it's not that I don't think it's good, it's just I haven't done that, and that's all. Could I have lived there with a better recovery? Yeah, probably. But am I that super, super, super into it? I mean, I can just respawn and attack again, right? super speed speed attack mode with my little thousand cuts so why not do that i i'm surprised these recoveries are killing they have to be at the like perfect damage range to do so because again i'm a, I'm a bit of a weakling bit of a, a low strength high high speed attack character here i thought they would run into that i'm actually dead here never mind i thought i was dead yeah, it seems like they mostly sidelight and then, oh, sidelight out from the corner and then weapon toss. So if I just have solid approaches, I should be able to to counter it fairly well, fairly well. I kind of just woke up and then, well, okay, the first thing I did after I woke up was I, what, was I went to poo poo. But after I did that, I kind of just like launched Brahalla and started recording. And, I, and then for some reason, I was surprised that my first game was messy. Like... Why why should I be surprised there? Oh, that was a misplay on my part. Do I live here though? Yeah, I do. It seems like they, they tend to go for the same type of edge guard, so if I just dodge, it should be okay. Yeah, my, my cannon is really bad. I overcommit so much with side airs. That's like the main thing that I do. I also don't really do optimal strings or anything like that, and my edge guards are pretty bad. So overall, probably my weakest weapon. But, you know, that's that's fine, you know? More room to grow. I, I totally forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I, I, this is just like, like the first thing I did after I woke up. And I was thinking, because you know like when you wake up, you kind of have a clear head. You got like that, that morning energy, um, or I guess afternoon energy, depending on when you wake up. But you, you tend to have like a clear head. Not immediately, because oftentimes you're groggy, but you know. It's a nice, it's a nice feeling, and so I was like, oh, maybe I'll use that energy and, and try and record. Because sometimes I have a lot of motivation to record, and I feel really good about it, and then I just don't do it later in the day because I get super tired. So maybe I'll try recording immediately in the morning. Maybe the gameplay will probably suffer, but maybe, uh, maybe we'll see. We'll see. I'm experimenting. I'm trying. Just like the devs are experimenting with the new visual features in this experimental queue, I will be experimenting. With my, uh, my, with my uploads or my recordings less so than uploads because upload time is always the same so oh I thought I would read their movement there but they dodged the moment I did it yeah you can really tell my inexperience with cannon when I start going up against like strategies that I feel pretty good against like eh, if I had gauntlets if I had guns if I had sword orb I feel like I'd be able to handle these guitars fairly well I, I kind of know what options they're, they're going for but with cannon I just I don't know I feel weak I feel weak, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I should swap over the guitars and, uh, and do a bit of a, a bit of a ditto. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, like there I knew they were going to end or, or, or like attack right away, likely a downlight, so I went for that, but you can tell I am struggling. Please, please knock out, please. Now we're seeing the true strength come into play. <laughs> We are definitely seeing the two strand. Oh, did I silent there? I meant to end light to cover there. To punish their landing. 
All right, let me pick up the Katars here. I'll have a much better time, and we'll see if I can make a comeback this game. Oh, that was close. Don't want to be falling into those. Apparently neither do they, which I understand. Oh, I didn't mean to down there. I meant to downlight there to counter their side light. Oh no, I tossed them away. Okay, I queued one up. Nice. I was prepped. I was prepped and ready ahead of time. Side light? Yep. Had to, had to predict that one. And I'm not doing much damage here. I guess as expected, but little by little, breaking them down, whittling them down. Okay, whittling myself down apparently. And there we go. Nice. Oftentimes when you're playing, you can get caught up in the same rhythm of attacking and attacking and whiffing and trying to punish your opponent and they kind of have this timing that's like just so that you miss the moment they get out of recovery frames and then they punish you for trying to punish them back. And I think that's kind of what was happening that last game when I had the cannon. So I'm going to try again to fight this, these guitars with the cannon and we'll see what I can do. It still might go bad, but at least I'll try to be more mindful of my attacks and everything like that and their hitboxes and their timings. And, uh, and see what I can do to learn, learn the matchup, you know? Oh, that was close, that was close. Maybe I could have gone for a side air, but it is jumpable. A nair wouldn't be jumpable, but I didn't want to do nair in that situation. I didn't, I didn't feel like it, so. Oh, I thought they would immediately go for the wall, but they did not. Mistimed my, my ground pound there. That's okay. That's, that's a-okay. Still alive. Caspian also lower strength, so maybe, uh... Maybe we'll both struggle to kill this game. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. I'm dead. Never mind. Yeah. So I, th I think it's worth putting myself in an uncomfortable situation because that's how you're going to learn, right? Even if I lose, even if I uh, struggle a bit, that's, uh, that's how you learn. You know, losing doesn't really matter that much uh, if you learn in the long run, right? That's, uh, that's kind of the motto, a big motto of learning stuff. So... Oh, that side air was very poor. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am. I almost said chat room. I'm not gonna lie to you, <laughs> YouTube frogs. Oh, I keep doing that dodge. Yeah, I, I should get punished for it. Yeah. Those side airs. It's like you. You can tell when I start to autopilot a little bit when I when I do those side airs. Let me try and focus up a little. Yeah, I do think my gameplay is suffering. Well, okay, it's also suffering because I'm playing this, which I'm not not very good at. But some of my decisions are a bit questionable at the very least but maybe maybe it's good you know you're not always going to be at peak so you don't always have to have to present yourself at peak I, I do struggle with that sometimes i feel guilty about not having gameplay that i know i can do or, or like having better better games or better commentary because it can always be better you know but if you're always trapped in the thought that it can be better then you're never going to actually let yourself do anything and you're not going to let yourself fail which is an important part of of learning of growing and everything so yeah, why not let myself not be 100%? Because I'm not always going to be 100%, and it's okay to not be 100%. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was weak. Well, not yet. Game's not over yet. It's never over until it's over, but it's looking, looking pretty good, at least in this game. And, okay, it is not looking good at all. This is a, this is a loss. It's a loss and a half. But what did I learn? I learned not to bomb myself using, uh using my own body as the weapon. So, there we go. There's the two strength Linfei. I think next time will be uh will be lag probably with this guy. So, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Also, apparently, it's a 60-40% thing and yeah, okay, bye.